Hey everybody, so this is um, Unit 5, Module 4, Session 1 Homework. It's funny that at Unit 5, Module 4, Session 1. I must not have... Oops, that's Session. That's really bad. Session uh, 1. That was really bad. Session 1, Homework. Okay, sorry. I don't, must not have copied that part over. Um, as always try a couple problems, pause it if you uh, think you have it, and then use this as an answer key. And if you're stuck, try one with me, and then if you get it, then pause it and do the same thing. So this one, we in, in class this year, we did not talk a lot about the sharing versus grouping. So I'll talk a little bit about it and try to support you through that. I really want to focus on the um, problems that are created from the, from the word problem, okay, the expressions and equations. So, read your story problem, then write an equation, including the answer for the problem, fill in the bubble to show whether the answer means the size of each group or the number of groups. So we can do that even without doing that lesson. The swim team is going to meet across town. There are 35 swimmers on the team, and each van can take five of them. How many vans will be needed to take the whole team? So, um, 35 swimmers, and we're going to divide that by five people per, <clears throat> excuse me, there's five people in, in each van, so we need seven vans, right? I'm gonna write vans. And the answer means, what does the answer mean? The answer means the number of groups, because we already know the size, they gave us a size of five, we just know we need the groups are the vans in this case, vans. So we're gonna color in that. All right, next one. Jacob picked 28 flowers and divided them equally between two vases. How many flowers did uh, he put in each vase? So 28 flowers. There's my 28 flowers. Divided by two vases. And that means there are 14 flowers in a vase. Okay. So this one, the size of each group or the number of groups. So um, they told us there's two vases. So that's the number of groups. So it's the size of each group. All right. Circle the equation that matches each story problem, Fill in, uh, then fill in the correct answer. So uh, you don't have to answer all the problems, right? Just the one that matches. So Alexis and her sisters, her two sisters, careful. Three people uh, picked 48 strawberries and shared them equally. How many strawberries did each girl get? So we know it's not two people. Um, we know, so we're breaking it into groups, right? Shared. That. In this case, we're going to say shared means divide. So that eliminates this one and this one. So each girl got 48 divided by three. Over here, I'm going to do that. 48 divided by three. I know that um, three times 10 is 30. Now I have 18. And then I know three times six is 18. I have nothing left. There's no, And so that means three goes in there 16 times. Bam. All right, Miguel. Miguel had Valentine's. I'm gonna switch the color. Miguel ha is making Valentine's. It takes a half a sheet of paper for each Valentine, and Miguel wants to make 26 Valentines. So um, it takes half a sheet of paper. Let's think about this. So we need to multiply, he wants 26 of them, so 26 at half a sheet, so 26 times a half. Do you see it right there? And then 26 times a half, well, that means half of 26, 13. All right, let's keep going. Number three on the next page. Circle the equation that matches each story problem. Fill in the correct answer. Ling and her mother are making dumplings. It takes three quarters of an ounce of meat for each dumpling, and they're going to make 36 dumplings. How many ounces of meat will they need? So we need three-fourths. We need three-fourths 36 times. So 36 groups of, or uh, 
these not groups, 36 times 3 fourths. Okay. So that's this one right here. And then we're going to, let's do this math. How are we going to do this? So we could, well, we could do this. Remember the tape diagram? Um, the whole thing is 36. And let's split into fourths. What's a fourth of 36? 36 divided by 4. 9, right? If I put 9s in all of them, that should equal 36. But we only need 3 fourths of it. So I think 9 times 3 is 27. That's one way to do it. Okay, some of you multiply by 36 times 3 and then divide it by 4. Just make sure that's it's not an improper fraction because it's tough to buy an improper fraction. You usually just describe it in whole numbers or mixed numbers when you're talking like how much meat. You don't go to the store and say, I need whatever 3 times 36 is. What's that? 90, 108 fourths ounces of meat. Probably have to convert that a little bit. Okay, B. There was one half a pan of cornbread left over from dinner. Jake and his dad, two people, Jake and his dad, ate half of the leftover cornbread for breakfast. How much of the, of the whole pan did they have for breakfast? So they had, there was a half left, and they had half of a half. There's a half, and they had half. Half of a half. So one half times one half. Oh, I must just circle the equation. Sorry, I should be circling it. Half of a half, one fourth. There we go. All right, I don't think I circled on the other ones either. All right, number four. Each of the visual models below shows the results of multiplying one fraction by another. Label each of the shaded regions with its dimensions and area, then write a multiplication equation to match. This is kind of cool, because it, it sets it up for us, and then we, um, we just have to label everything. So notice here, that's two of the three on that side um, are shaded. So that's why it's two thirds. And here is one, two, three of the four. So let's try it. Um, there's three over, oh, excuse me, three over five total there. And then three over five total there. So three fifths times three fifths. It looks like there's nine here. And the whole is five by five, that's really bad, 25, nine 25 All right, let's keep going. Three of four, three fourths, times four of, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, four eighths. And then we have one, two, three, four, times three equals 12. And then there's 32 in this whole thing, 30 seconds. Um, let's divide that. Let's try and simplify that. I'm going to go, um, they're both even, so I'm going to divide it by 2 over 2. Not 2, not two, 2 over 2. And that's um, 6 sixteenths. Still both even, divided by 2 over 2 equals 3 eighths. There we go. I like this but I like the 3 eighths even a little bit better, okay? Let's change the color so I don't get confused. All right, there's one, two, three, four of those, four out of five, and then, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those, is that right? Nine out of 10, so four fifths times nine tenths, uh, Four, there should be, if we count all these up, what's 4 times 9? 36 fiftieths. They're both even. So we're going to divide by 2 over 2. 18 25ths. And the only number that goes into 25 at this point is 5. And 5 doesn't, well, 25 does and 1 does. But uh, 1 doesn't, since it's... Um, one goes in every number, so that's not going to help us, and 25 is too big. 5 does not go into 18, so it is 18 25ths. All right, guys, make sure you bring in any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.